Some Pokemon Go players have spent up to thousands of dollars on Pokemon Go. I myself have only spent up to like maybe a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars in Pokemon Go. I don't I don't spend that much money. I don't. I do not. It can be pretty easy to rack up some serious bills with live service games as a title without a defined ending is designed to con constantly siphon money from you. Pokemon Go is definitely a live service game and as it's been around for so many years, it's pretty natural that many players will have dropped hundreds of dollars on the game. That's exactly what some revealed in a recent Reddit post, though the answer here, I mean there, or here, yeah, may surprise. Like I said, I only spent uh, hundreds, or like I said, 200. I, mean, I didn't spend hundreds, I spent 200, 150 to 200 dollars for Pokemon Go. Ha, the question is, how many have you spent? How many, how much money have you spent on Pokemon Go? Here it is. Um, Pokemon Go trainer Silas, Silas Bet asked Reddit the question, how much have you spent? Then continued saying, this has probably been asked before, but I was wondering how much people have spent in total on Pokemon Go. I spent a few pounds every few months on the ticketed events. I can see that. I don't spend, like I said, I spend 200, maybe 300. I don't really keep track of how, how much I spend, but I know I don't spend a lot. I don't spend a lot on Pokemon Go, no. Especially since uh, I can uh, get cheaper coins. The answer very wildly, and some of the players are particularly shocked at the more outrageous results. One person says, free to play, fortunate to be situated in an active community. Yeah, um, if you're free to play, let us know in the comment section. If you actually are just a free to play player and you don't spend any money and you haven't spent any money all, all the way to, back to 2016, I, I can't call myself a free to play player because I did spend money. But if you are an actual free to play player, let us know in the comment section. If you have never actually spent money on Pokemon Go. Meanwhile, another trainer reveals their spending habits, explaining, I allow myself $10 a month on the game, mostly for remote raid passes. I refused to pay for research after I had an issue with the Kyogre time research, not re-registering and losing out on all the XL candy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, look. Photos of uh, what remote raid used to be. Is, is that the new way? Did they change them? No, that's the... Yeah, that's the way remote raid used to be. A lot of people spend a lot of money on remote raids before the nerf. So that's what they used to cost. I'm like, oh, wow. When I, yeah, I saw this picture and like, wow. They, they reverted back already? Like, no. I'll, I'll be... I was, if they did, I would see a lot of articles like, oh, my God. They, they reverted the nerf. They reverted back. But they didn't. Uh, that's the that's what they used to cost, remote raid passes. Then one avid user reveals their answer saying, hundreds in game, thousands of you include travel and accommodations to various Pokemon Go events over the last eight years. When asked if the travel was for anything else other than the game, they say, nope. Pokemon Go was the primary reason for travel results. Yeah, people would spend money to go to these places, especially for Safari Zone and Go Fest. Uh, basically, the only two events that have like that you have to travel to because they're in secluded areas. I wish that we had a worldwide Safari Zone, which would be awesome. Just like to have a global uh, Go Fest, which have a global or like. Yeah, we should call it Global Safari Zone. There you go. So I wish you have a Global Safari Zone so that everybody can participate in the Safari Zone. But we don't, we're never going to have that because Safari Zones are the only ones that were, 
are the only events that would be only exclusive for those areas until they are maybe a major change for Pokemon Go that they actually decide to make a global safari zone, which they'll never do. I think we already had one this earlier this year, right? If I'm correct. Finally, another player breaks down their expenditure from the ev uh, from the very beginning. As they say, close to day one player, given how long Pokemon Go has been out and my year-long break in 2022, three and a half years of hardcore, well, gameplay. So until the pandemic, probably close to 100 month back then. $100 per month back then. So prior to, the, so until the pandemic, this player actually spent $100 per month. So I, so yearly he would spend, or they would spend, 1200 a year on Pokemon Go. Especially since uh, wherever you live at, coins are expensive. They are expensive. In some areas, some areas are more expensive in certain areas. They continue adding, reduced to more casual gameplay from 2020 to the time I quit in 2022 and back to casual gameplay in 2023 until now. Probably a good 5,000 or so total when adding up the past whole, past well spending GoFest. And uh, some community activities like Pokebuses and stuff. There you go. First, what well answer to this question? $5,000. Wow. That's, that is a lot. If that's a whole year, that's a lot. That's a lot. Just for one game. It's a pretty massive amount and one of the biggest in the thread. Some fans are happy to see some honesty as one replies. Just glad to see even one other post that isn't, I will never spend a dime or I get 15,000 tokens a year daily gym. <laughs> oh, that's how much you get? Wow, somebody did some math. 15,000 coins. Which is, is a lot. Which it is a lot. But not as much as how many people are getting. <laughs> well, it's completely up to each individual player how to interact with the game. If you want to earn some in-game currency without spending too much money, you can also follow our guide to learn how to get coins in Pokemon Go next. The only way you can get Pokemon coins is you buy or you do the what some guy said right here where you wait a whole year and you get 15,000 coins, which it, it sounds like a lot, but um, the way I sell coins, a lot of people get way more than that. A lot of people would spend a lot of money to get a lot of coins, especially if they're cheap. But that's the only way. I don't know, you don't have to go and click on here, click this. But if you want to, you can click. <laughs> you can click. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you actually want to know how to get. You want to go click. Uh, if you want to click this right here, this link right here, that will take you to how to learn how to get uh, more coins or get coins in Pokemon Go, which is only two ways. You can either buy or do the daily um, coin thing. Which is if they actually brought back, <laughs> brought back the hundred coin limit, they will have like, you have thirty thousand if you did the total. But I didn't even know if somebody did the total. Wow, fifteen thousand tokens, fifteen thousand Poke coins in a whole year. I didn't know. I didn't know that much. I, could, I have to do the math. I want, I want to make sure. So yeah, do the math. Make sure that it is 15,000. But yeah, that's a lot. That is still a lot of coins. If you want to do it that way, that's what people usually do when they're playing free to play. Is they hoard all these coins uh, by doing, doing the gyms. 
So they rely on gyms giving them gonna, their coins because they actually have to upgrade their bag. You have to actually upgrade this. This is why people actually do spend real money on Pokemon Go because you got you have to increase your bag. You're gonna have to increase your Pokemon space. You have to increase. You have to upgrade a lot of stuff. <clears throat> you gotta buy items. Um, you don't get you don't get like um, incubators for free, which I wish uh, you could for maybe one once a day or two twice a day. And you hoard them. You can hoard them. But you, like I said, you don't get them for free. Uh, just like you get Pokeballs for free, berries for free. You don't get the. You don't get incubators for free, so you need the incubators. Unless you rely on just using your one incubator uh, for free, which they do give you uh, an un, an infinite uh, incubator for free. Which uh, I like. I said in a video about in, uh, making uh, the egg system way much better is to um, switch over or have the have an a super incubator that is infinite allow people to buy it as well if you actually want to buy it but that's for another video that's for another video or I already I might mention that in that video but yeah you have to buy a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that is not free if you're a free-to-play player you're not gonna be able to get extra incubators or get extra super incubators or lucky egg, you need lucky eggs or star pieces. You don't get those in um, in the game. Well, you do. Uh, I think sometimes there are events that you do get some in the game, but you don't get them in the game. Basically, you have to spend a lot. Not spend a lot, but you got to spend money in order to advance in the game, uh, make your account better, improve your account. So basically, you do have to spend money in in the game, and like I do, I spend money. I do spend money. I don't spend a lot. I get, uh, I am able to get cheap coins for myself. So I don't really need to spend a lot of money. But I don't spend it a lot though either. I pick and choose what, what to buy and what to get. That's me. That is me though. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you actually want to go and find out how to get more coins, or if you see any other links in this article, you can go to the link in the description, click the link, and it will take you to the article. And then you can go and investigate any other article that you want in this uh, website, or any article that you saw in this article, any link that was in this article you can go to. And uh, you can do your own investigation, your own reading, and find out any other information you want to find out of Pokemon Go or any other game that you want to find out. Like I said, this, that is it for this video. And I'll see you on the next one. I see you on the next one. Peace out.